Hey guys, it's Ace here, bringing you a new video. This video is going to be a base review video. I've got a few people that have wanted their base to be reviewed, so I'm going to review these bases and try to give some tips to improve the base in any way that I can think of. And this is the first base I'm reviewing. Um, this is BAM's base. Now, there's a few things that you I think you could change that might improve the defense a bit. Uh, the main one I can see is this mortar. Uh, it, it, it might be there because it's upgrading on purpose at the moment, but I think uh, it would be good to switch that mortar with this archer tower. Now the reason I say this is the mortar can be very easily picked off with a few archers and I'm pretty sure if the archers got close enough the mortar couldn't even hit it while it was while the archers were taking down that mortar. So I would switch that mortar with that archer tower because the archer tower is pretty much right in the center of your base and it, the, that archer tower is probably one of the hardest uh, the location where that archer tower is would be one of the hardest to get to so if you put the mortar there it would be much better protected um, okay so switch the mortar with the archer tower I would recommend you might have uh, like it's upgrading at the moment so you can't use it at the moment but when it finishes upgrading I would recommend switching those now uh, the only other thing really is a, um, I don't know how you could change it, but this gold storage here, it's a bit exposed, but um, with the design you're using at the moment, I'm not sure how you could fix that. Uh, t -t 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 hmm. There's not really anywhere else you can put it, so I'm not sure. If it's if no one's really going for it, then it's not really a problem, but it is a bit exposed. Like, if someone seriously wanted the gold in that storage, they could send a few wall breakers and just attack with some goblins. I mean the wizard tower could hit them, but yeah, I don't know. There's not really much you can do about that, but I would definitely recommend switching the mortar with the archer tower after the mortar finishes upgrading, because with the mortar's range, when it's level, uh, when you upgrade it, the mortar's range, it'll pretty much be able to hit anything that tries to attack you, and it will be also be very well protected. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next. Alright, I'm back. This is the second base I'll be reviewing. This is Lolly 83's base. Uh, there's a few things I can see that m could improve the defense. Uh, the splitting the defenses and buildings into walls like this is really good, but the problem I can see is you don't have enough walls to do this with all your buildings. So what I would recommend is not splitting every single building up with walls like this because you don't have enough walls to do it. So uh, what I would do is to give your defenses more room to fit I would get rid of some of these uh, like get rid of some of these walls so you can fit more defenses in like the ones like for example you could keep the mortar and the elixir in the same compartment and don't split it with these walls and then you can use these extra walls to put more put more of your defenses in because I can see you have a cannon here an archer tower here and another cannon here that aren't protected by walls and if you can fit them it's it's a good idea to have all your all your walls I mean sorry all your defenses in your walls so I think if you the com putting uh, buildings in compartments like this is good but it usually if you don't have enough walls you've put a few buildings together in a compartment and then split it off so for example, like I said before, the mortar and the elixir collector you could have in the same uh, compartment, and then put a wall to split this with the like to split to the next area. So, because you have the wizard tower, the two cannons, and the archer tower that aren't protected by walls. Uh, so, if you wanted to redesign the base you would probably want to try get this mortar more in the center of the base because the mortar is one of your most uh, powerful defenses and especially the wizard tower is your second most important defense so if you're not going to redesign the other advice I can give you is definitely switching this wizard tower with either an archer tower or a cannon because the the wizard tower is better than an archer tower or a cannon and it should be behind the walls All right. but overall it's a pretty good base but it 
there are a few little things that you could improve and if you're willing to redesign it then it can be improved a bit. Alright yeah, guys I'm back, this is the third base I'll be reviewing. This is FFHJBB's base. Now, um, okay, it's not a bad design. Uh, the mortar, this mortar right here is really well placed in the center. The town hall is well protected in the middle. The storages are all together, so uh, if you, the storages don't have much uh, resources in them at the moment, but if you feel like if you do a lot of raiding and your resources get filled up, uh, they're not. They're pretty easy to get to. So, um, I would recommend moving your resource, uh, your storages around a little bit. Like, don't keep them all together. Put them, put them in different places in your base so that when people attack you, they have to do, they have to get through more of your base to get to all the collectors. So, I would recommend maybe moving them around. But while if you don't have a lot of resources in them, it's not a big deal. But if you fill them up and they have a lot of resources in them. Uh, people can get to them pretty easily, but okay. So this wizard tower and this mortar is really well placed. The mortar should always be centralized in your base, so this one's a little bit exposed. So I would the first thing I would say to do is switch places with this collector and this mortar. Now another thing is it's not it's not really necessary to wall the collectors in. I don't. If you don't have any other use for the walls, it's, it's no problem having them in the walls. But for example, you could move one of the collectors outside and move the archer tower and the cannon in because defenses that aren't behind walls are very easy to get to, and the defenses are your priority to protect. In priority of protecting stuff, if you're going for trophies, it should be town hall as your priority. Then probably probably storages, sorry about that battery thing, um, then probably storages are the next priority and then your splash damage, your splash damage defenses should be the next priority after that so uh, the few things I could recommend is try centralize these two mortars a bit more if you can, put them close to the center and that way they have the range all around your base and the mortars are really good for are uh, really good when they're placed in the center. I would. I don't know about keeping these collectors in the in the walls. If you're. If you're wanting to protect the resources that are in them, that's fine. But I wouldn't really. I mean, I have a few in my walls as well, but I don't have all of them. I just have a couple in because it distracts the enemy a bit. And I usually collect them anyway, so they don't get much out of it. But. I would definitely recommend moving these two defenses, the Archer Tower and the Cannon, inside the base and switch them with uh, your collectors. And uh, yeah, just centralize the Wizard Towers and the Mortars. This one's really good, I really like the placement here. But I think this Wizard Tower could be moved more in the center. And this one, you don't want to really have your Mortars or your Wizard Towers in range of Archers. You want to have more in the center of the base. But overall, it's a. Uh, Pretty, pretty good design. I won't. Uh, just a few little improvements, and it could be a lot. It could be a lot better against your uh, people. It could be a lot better in defense, but if you just tweak a few things, but yeah, it's a pretty good base. And okay, so this is gonna wrap up my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the reviews I did. And as always, please rate, comment, subscribe if you have the time. Thank you for watching.